All right, what's going on guys? So today I'm back on the heavy bag, but today I wanna go over more of a technical side of things. I am gonna be doing a conditioning style of training, but this is gonna be highly technical. So this is something that you can do it's sports specific that you can do inside of a fight camp. So when you're getting closer to the fight, have your coach or yourself work through these particular techniques. Just these combinations alone is going to help enhance the quality of your movement, the technique, the skill that you're going to need inside of a fight, but it's also gonna increase your punching output. So we have punching output and technical efficiency that is going to be enhanced here. Now, you're gonna need someone to run you through this particular workout because there is a large array of, of technical aspect in it. So what you're gonna do is the first round Every minute, you're going to be doing some type of combination. Now, when we start, we're gonna go ahead and start really basic. So we're gonna go with a jab feint or just a single jab. Now, this is gonna be minute one of round one. Minute two, you're gonna go jab to double jab. Minute three, jab, feint, double jab. You're gonna repeat that over and over for that entire minute throughout the round. After the round is up, you're gonna go into some posterior expansion, doing some mountain climbers, just trying to drive more anterior compression, get some, get some activation of the obliques and rectus abdominals. That's gonna be for the entire minute. As soon as you're done with that, that's gonna be your active rest. You're gonna get right back on to round two, all right? So now, you probably accumulated some lactate buildup inside of your muscles, which is fine because that's the goal is to help with buffering out lactate. But with that being said, we're gonna stay technically sound. So round two starts, minute one is gonna be a jab cross. So jab cross, right? After that, minutes up, we're gonna go jab cross jab. So it's just a one, two, one. Minute three is a double jab cross. So we're going double and then turning it over, all right? After that, you're gonna go right back into that posterior expansion mountain climber. That's gonna be your active rest in between rounds one and rounds two. Now round three starts. You're gonna go ahead and do minute one is gonna be a jab cross hook. So a one, two, three. Minute two, we're going faint jab cross. So I'm gonna faint and then jab cross. Minute three is a jab hook with the lead and then a shuffle uppercut. All right, right after that, you go side plank bird dogs, working on compression strategies, lateral compression and expansion on the far side. What we're gonna try to do here is we're gonna go for 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other for your active rest. Okay, so round four is going to be more of the conditioning that you're gonna do. This is gonna be more intense. This is where we're gonna get after it. So you're only gonna be th doing 30 second intervals here. So 30 seconds. When the round starts, you're gonna go one, twos nonstop. It's more about volume. Obviously, you wanna turn your punches over, stay technically sound, but the goal here is overall volume and speed, all right? So we're gonna run it fast for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go 30 seconds hard punches, whether it be hooks and uppercuts, two threes, whatever the case. We wanna make sure that every punch has that intent built in. We wanna make sure that we're trying to kill that bag. So make sure you're going in. 30 seconds after that, we're just gonna go light movement punches, right? Just kind of tapping the bag, moving around, head movement a little bit, right? And then you're gonna do that again for two times through. So you have 30, 30, 30, two times through. And then after that, <clears throat> you're gonna go ahead and do our side plank bird dogs for that 30 on, on one side, 30 on the other for that active rest. And then repeating it again, the same structure, 30, 30, 30 for round number five to finish off the entire workout, okay? So we have 15 minutes of overall work, right? You're looking at 18 to 20 minutes entirely for the session itself, all right? Let's get after it. So what I'm gonna do now is just work through the warm up. I'm gonna do some uh, hip shifts just to basically set my pelvis aligned and making sure that I'm breathing diaphragmatically. Right, we wanna make sure that I'm stacking my posture so that I have optimal range of motion, I have movement quality, and also my respiratory rate is efficient. So I'm gonna get up, stack my pelvis, right over the rib cage, so we're stacked here. So slightly internally rotated with the, with the uh, femurs. I'm squeezing my abs, and then I'm keeping my low back tucked into the floor. So I'm not raising too high. I'm just going and driving my hips up and squeezing the roller. Now from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and shift my hips from side to side, keep my hands down. And then I'm gonna shift the other way and squeeze the roller. Shift. So I'm working the adductors as I shift. And I'm 
blowing out. As I go to shift, I breathe in. I'm gonna go ahead, get in a tabletop position. I'm gonna put my heels on the wall. I'm gonna get into that posterior expansion. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drive my, my chest up as high as I can. So I'm elongating my upper back and then I'm trying to maintain position here. So I'm driving the heels into the wall, breathing in. the chin. Oh guys, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification if you want to train specifically for boxing and use some of the strength conditioning protocols I use for my boxers. Check out Heavy Hitters, it's a 12-week boxing program that I get you ready for a fight at any given time. The link is in the description, or you can check out my website, theroshawn.com. Catch you again next time. Peace.